uh, you know, what are what are the risk scenarios? You know, what, what are the downside cases for crypto? Um, I'd give a few, right? Um, I think it's it's gotten pretty far. So as, as of 2019, you know, for example, crypto has sort of withstood like the crackdown of the Chinese government in, in 2017. It's withstood enormous, uh, you know, numbers of like articles proclaiming Bitcoin dead and and, and so on, um, and 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 tons of bubbles and, and whatnot, right? Uh, insofar as I think there's future risks, I'd put them in a few buckets. Uh, first is partition tolerance. So um, at least right now, the, the Bitcoin blockchain is not built to handle extended partitions. So if, for example, the Great Firewall goes and blocks port 8333, um, and then there's like a back and forth, and eventually um, it becomes difficult for the blockchain to synchronize you know, across borders, then you could have like a peekaboo problem where the chain is extended in, in China by mining, but most transactions are happening in the rest of the world, and synchronization is not happening fast enough. Um, now, there's workarounds for this, like there's a satellite which is pumping you know, the blocks for, from Bitcoin into China, um, because China has control over airspace but not space space. Right? Uh, there's, there's other workarounds where you could like steganographically encode packets and bring them into China, but we'd have to actually run the experiment to see if it was possible for the Great Firewall to actually interdict it. Now that firewall would have to be so tight that it would have to interdict not um, not just the service, but any one megabyte transfer, like in all of China across billions of people. So that'd be hard, but possible. So that's kind of let's call that one one approach. Uh, you know, the partition tolerance. Second is if there's some CVE, you know, you know, like really critical um, vulnerability that we we have not you know seen that allows people to counterfeit large numbers of bitcoins and you know like break break the value of the system. And by the way, the reason I keep focusing on Bitcoin here is it is sort of like the fundament of the system. If it was hacked, if there were serious security issues, I think it would set back the industry like at least five years or so. Like if people will have to rebuild around it. With all that said though, I think those those kinds of issues that I just mentioned are technological issues where it could set the thing back. But I think the fundamental concept of blockchains of decentralized currency is out there. And then folks, what they'll do is they'll fix that and then have a more robust version in the future.